guys, today we are on a learning journey and we are travelling into the world of electromagnets. Our journey begins at the station called Sudden Discovery. This is because the electromagnet was discovered almost accidentally by Ersted in the early 19th century. Ersted had wound a long copper wire around an iron rod. He called it a coil. When he connected this coil to a battery, it caused the needle of the compass to move, just like a magnet. Clearly, the coil acquired magnetic properties when the current was flowing through it, and hence it was called an electromagnet. And this is also the name of our next stop, electromagnet. Here, we are going to find out if electromagnets have a north and south pole, just like natural magnets. We'll keep one magnet on each side of the coil with south pole of both the magnets facing towards the coil. As the current flows, one magnet is attracted and the other magnet is repelled. The end where the attraction is observed is the north pole of the electromagnet and the other is south pole. This means that the magnetic poles of an electromagnet depend on the direction of the current in the coil. The end of the electromagnet where the current flows anti-clockwise becomes the north pole and the end where the current flows clockwise becomes the south pole of the electromagnet. The magnetic field of an electromagnet can be increased either by increasing the number of turns of the coil or by passing a strong current through the coil or both. We are now reaching our last stop of the train called Worlds of Electromagnets. This very train we are travelling in works on the principles of electromagnets. This train uses two sets of electromagnets. One set causes repulsion between the wheels of the train and the track and pushes the train above the track. While the other set is used to move the floating train ahead at a great speed. Since the two surfaces don't touch each other, there is no friction and the train can travel at high speeds. Apart from this, magnetic cranes in scrapyards turn on the powerful magnet to lift tons of metal. Then they turn it off to drop the scrap. And your favourite musical bands use electromagnets to amplify the sound coming out of its speakers. Well, that's the end of our journey today. See you next time.